Hey YouTubers, Mason coming back at you from a dumb video here. Kinda coming back at you with a bittersweet um, uh, video. Um, A lot of people were expecting this, but, uh, still kind of unhappy for me, um, because this guy is going to go down, and it's one of my favorite players of all time. I met him his rookie year, um, and now... The Bears aren't going to even try to re-sign him. As I said, a lot of people expected this. But, as I said, I'm still not happy about it. So, what I'm about to quote is, um... It's from Matt Forte's personal Facebook account. Uh, it says... Despite my wishes, my member as my days my days as a member of Chicago Bears have sadly come to an end. I was informed earlier this week from the GM that they will not attempt to be attempting to resign me in free agency. I will remain forever grateful for my time uh, spent in Chicago. And being able to play for an organization with such a rich history. My only regret is not being able to win a Lombardi Trophy for the best fans in all of sports. I'm excited about the next chapter of my NFL career, but Chicago will always be home. God bless and bear down. Yeah. So... That was basically Matt Forte's way of saying goodbye. Um, as I said, he will probably go down as probably one of my top ten favorite Chicago Bears of all time. Um, as I said, I met him in his rookie year, so 2008, when we drafted him. I mean, he was barely known uh, because coming out of a college like Tulane, um, not many people from Tulane make it to the NFL. Um, Matt Forte, after joining us, as I said, he was drafted in 2000. Eight. I believe that year was also the yeah that was no it was a couple of years after the Bears had just it's a couple of years after the Bears went to Super Bowl and faced the Colts but as I said he was drafted I think in the second round I think we drafted him and after and, as I said, he wasn't really known that much, so, um, me and my dad ended up meeting him at a sports, um, memorabilia shop. And it was one of the first people I've ever, he was one of the first athletes that I ever met. Um, so... We, so I met him, and I was nervous, um, because I knew a little bit about him, and thought he was a really good running back, um, so, he, so I met him, I talked to him for a little bit, uh, 
or at least what I could speak was, as I said, uh, but he was one of my, f the first athletes I ever met. So, kind of, when you're, when you're like me, who I, at the time, I wasn't a huge sports fan. I was just beginning to get into sports. Um, and I, but, I knew, but as I said, I knew about him, and I was talking to him, and I just, I lost words because I didn't know what to say exactly, um, so, but anyways, uh, just wanted to get on here and talk about that, um, talk about my meeting him. I have a football that's autographed by him. Uh, so, but now he is going to be going somewhere else. I mean, as I said, everybody knew this was coming, but he... No one wanted to believe it. Especially not me. I did not want to believe it whatsoever. Um, so. But I want to. I want to say that I do. Hope he does good. good and his. Future. And his the rest of his career, um, I mean, a lot of people are saying places like maybe New England, uh, Baltimore, it's places like that he might go to, um, So, yeah, um, I hope, I hope someone signs him to a nice deal, um, and he goes to the Pro Bowl again, and possibly does even better, I just hope he doesn't do good against the Bears, because, yeah, he, he will always be one of my favorite players, but I can't root against my team. Uh, so, if he becomes a Patriot, I will be very happy because uh, I am. I don't know if many of you guys know. I think you do. Uh, but uh, along with being a Bears fan, I'm also a Patriots fan. So. So, but yeah. So, there you have it. Uh, uh, this was the end of Matt Forte's career in Chicago. So, just wanted to come on and talk about that. So. That's about it, guys. Um, for now, peace. I'm out.